focus? I think so. Okay. Shivangi and if you're a NIFT aspirant who's sitting for the NIFT entrance examinations in less than 24 hours this video is specifically for you and since I was the one who told you guys to limit your time on the internet we're going to keep this video really short and sweet also exam is right around the corner quite literally so I decided to film this video talking about some do's and don'ts one night before the examination and also on the examination day and before we get started I want you guys to please put this video on pause go get a memo pause Go get a memo pad or a paper or a diary and a pen and then we'll start. Hmm. Are you guys back? Alright, let's quickly get started. Just one moment. Alright, so one day before the exam, please arrange your bag and your stationery. Don't leave it for last minute. Make sure your pencils are sharpened, your eraser, your sharpener, your colours, your clipboard or an examination uh, paperboard. The clipboard which we used to use in our written exams in school make sure you carry it with you because you wouldn't know what kind of table surface uh, they're providing you at the examination center if it's corroded or if it has like you know these uh, it's if it's not smooth and plain you will have difficulties while sitting for your cat and drawing and like rendering so make sure you do that make sure you carry a black pen with you and uh, arrange everything in place make sure you have your admit card and your ID proof with you and uh, yeah that's about it so well basically we are doing all of this so that in case you're missing out on some stationery we have the evening to go and actually purchase them and if you're missing out on a few extra things we are well prepared and we know that he hame leke aana hai so make sure you make a checklist of this and keep ticking on the boxes uh, as and when you put those things in place all right now we'll come to the food bit i know i'm going to sound like an absolute mother hen right now but it's better to be prepared than be sorry later and trust me your examination starts uh, early in the morning and you will be there till late afternoon so you want to make sure that you have a fruit with you you have like a piece of chocolate you have some biscuits preferably glucose biscuits so that you know you your energy levels don't go low and you must carry water and carry your lunch because you do not know where your exam center is uh, and it's a sunday morning so you cannot be really sure if shops around the area would be open and we don't want to waste our time uh, hunting for food at that particular point of time during the exam there's this whole pressure there's this stress of like performing well and doing all of that and in between if you're looking for food places that will be like the worst also if you want to you can also carry some of those tetra pack juices or uh, whatever again I'm sounding like I'm sounding like a mother hen but trust me you will need it we want to make sure we are hydrated and we want to make sure that our BP or our blood pressure doesn't drop my blood pressure used to drop like crazy during my 10th board examinations and it was so silly because I used to like stress myself up so this is all personal information and personal experiences which I have faced that I'm sharing with you do not panic it's going to be okay but make sure you're hydrated make sure you have enough food with you and uh, make sure you have like a bit of chocolate so that you can treat yourself hmm. now let's talk a night before the examination so you've done all the preparations you needed to, you've studied as much as you had to. Now please, please, please make sure that you give yourself at least 7 to 8 hours of sound sleep, peaceful sleep. I know you're anxious, I know you're worried, you're stressed, you're tensed, but listen to some soothing calm music and keep your phone aside just sleep you need that rest your mind needs that rest whatever you had to do has been done already whatever preparations had to be done have been done now it's time that you give yourself some rest so that you sleep on time and uh, yeah coming to the food bit please make sure that your last meal of the night before the exams is a light meal do not eat a lot of oily junk food do not stress eat and binge eat make sure you eat something healthy because we don't want issues on the day of the exams if you know what I mean <laughs> the third thing is that talk to people who give you positive vibes whether it's your parents whether it's your cousin your sister your brother your friends just spend some amount of quality time with them maybe like 30 minutes talk to them make yourself uh, comfortable put yourself in that zone where you're you know kind of positive do not talk about your exams do not talk about how stressed you are just have some light-hearted conversations and then go to bed <laughs> Alright, so now talking about things to do on the day of your examination, other than everything that I've told you guys, these are some uh, off the topic personal things which I would suggest you should do. Get up on time, make sure your alarm is on time, uh, get dressed, get ready, wear your favourite colour if it makes you happy. It just 
kind of lifts up your spirits when you're wearing your favorite top or your favorite shirt or your favorite color and make sure you take the blessings of your parents it's really 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 important or any elder person who's in your house i think you need that extra source of positive energy and uh, make sure you do that uh, only if you want to i would personally do it i've been doing it ever since i was a little girl so no uh, obligations there do it only if you want to but i would feel really happy if you do and i'm pretty sure your parents would too now the third thing is make sure you back calculate your time and leave from your place well in advance so that you have enough buffer time in case you get lost or you cannot find the location of your center and things like that we don't want any mishaps to happen so make sure you calculate well before in advance and make sure you reach the center on time now in between the examinations and also on the way to your examination i don't want you guys to stress about what to study what not to study and cram things up so carry a pair of headphones and listen to your most favorite music some soothing music not some loud music but listen to some maybe some instrumental music if you don't want the song to keep repeating while you're sitting for your exams listen to some soothing uh, instrumental music also one key point is please do not discuss answers with other students in between your examination gap please please don't waste your time doing that and stressing about are maine perform acha kiya ya nahi ya kare kaisa kara jo hona tha ho gaya aapne cat ka paper de diya aapne likh diya aapko jo likhna tha aapne draw kar liya jo aapko draw karna tha likhoge to kya hi but ab ho gaya it's over it's done do not think about what has been already done but concentrate what is ahead of you so don't discuss and don't waste your time discussing answers with like you know tune kya draw kara maine to ye draw kara don't waste your time doing that you'll have plenty of time after your gat examination yes. be focused be motivated kind of uh, think of all the positive things you can while you're sitting for your exams do not stress ki kya hoga kya nahi hoga minimum marks kya aane chahiye maximum marks kya aane chahiye उस टाइम पे जस्ट फोकस ऑन गिविंग इट योर बेस्ट शॉट योर वेरी वेरी बेस्ट शॉट दिस इज योर फ्यूचर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एंड वी वॉन्ट टू मेक श्योर दैट यू डू रियली 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 वेल सो दैट यू हैव फुलफिल द फर्स्ट step towards your future and please 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 guys i will be waiting for all of you and your responses after you're done with your examinations so make sure you do me proud do well all the best all the very very best good luck for your exams sleep on time stay hydrated stay happy i'll see you guys next time bye